Yes, there are two talks in the session today which I, I think uh, initially might seem quite different. One was looking, of course, at the management of cerebral metastases and, and one was looking at trying to identify what's within a group of tumours which is very heterogeneous but has never actually been teased apart. Uh, and I think they both carry the same message really, which is that in order to uh, fulfill the requirements for managing tumours in both of those situations, you really need to understand the biology. That's absolutely crucial. In other words, it's the biology of the cerebral metastases, whether they have a genomic driver, whether they're immunogenic, that's what crucially will determine how to manage the individual case. These are a very heterogeneous group. In the case of large cell neuroendocrine carcinoma, you know, that's an entity which doesn't actually exist. It's a classification of convenience which has been around for a long time. And it's practically applicable, but we've always known that within that group there's a great range of tumours and no one has really ever taken on the challenge of teasing them out. So for instance, you can't address the question of how do we manage large cell neuroendocrine carcinoma when within the group that you're interested in, there might be half a dozen different entities which you haven't separated. In order to get any meaningful information that you can act on, you need to know precisely what you're dealing with, the precise biology. So the message I think there was quite strong. We need to learn the biology. That is what all rational, successful managers is predicated on.